I'll do. Time for another beer review. Hopefully this works. I'm having major problems with my internet, my house, and I'm also having problems with the storage of my phone. So if if this if you get to see this, this is fantastic. This will come up when it comes up. It may come up today. It's the 16th of April today. So we'll see what happens. Anyhow, I've just seen um, Paul's beers reviews today, and he's been on the super strength lagers. So Paul, I thought right, I'm going to go to the European shop and get something a bit special as well. So. Here we go. This is Bexacal Mockner, 9%. I'm, I'm assuming that it, oh, it says it's a strong cherry flavored beer. It's pasteurized and it contains sugars and sweeteners. The ingredients are water, barley, malt, malting barley, glucose, syrup, sugar, cherry juice, reconstituted from concentrated cherry juice, um, citric acid, carrot concentrate, Cherry aromas, sweetness, um, this could be special. Um, I think the good thing about the European shops is you pay about a pound, a pound fifty, and you just get random beers that you never ever see anywhere else. So if you are wanting to try new beers, then I would wholeheartedly recommend going to your local European shop to try beers from like Russia, Poland, and Lithuania. So this is uh that's an off off red closer to pink beer it's got a slightly off white two finger uh pillowy head yeah it looks looks really red on it looks like it's, it does look synthetic as out but let's get the nose wow it smells like cherry viva if you remember the old alka pop like the jolly ran and like the cherry jolly ranches so it's like a a real artificial cherry but it's oh it's huge 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 cherry aroma there's nothing else on it it's just cherry right let's dive in cheers nine percent here we go oh sweet Right, that is like tunes, the the lozenger, and it tastes like like I'm taking like some kind of med medicinal cough syrup or something like that. Um, initially, I was hit with the sweetness, but I quite kind of like it. <laughs> I mean, it's 500 mils and it's 9%. There's a, when you drink it, you kind of, when you inhale after you've drank it, you feel it's like, <gasps> of like alcohol warmth, but other than that, there is absolutely no warmth to it at all. It doesn't drink like a 9%. It just drinks like a, a, a 2% or something. It's, it's dangerous. Um, I thought this was going to be horrific. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying it's the greatest beer I've ever had in my life, but it's certainly all right, actually. It's a, it's a pleasant surprise. Um, it's, going, it's going down far too easy with them. I just get this. When I've had it in my mouth, I just feel it's like, oh, it's like, it does literally feel like I'm having a lozenge, and it's just clearing my nose and my sinuses. So, um, yeah, that, it's a random one. Um, I would actually, in a kind of crazy way, recommend people to try it. So, um, yeah, it's... I haven't had, like, Carlsberg Special Brew or anything like that for, like, 20 years when I worked in a bar. Um, I am planning on doing a lot of these crazy beers. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I would... I'm going to crazily say... Give this a try. Um, Bexacal Mokne. It's it's a very it's okay. It's not it's not horrible. Never thought I'd be saying it on this when I thought it was going to be turning the insides out. Anyhow, excuse me. On to the next one.